so question six as it's suggested uh, time 25 minutes we're clearly going to try and shortcut through that program is needed to authenticate system logins login name and four digit passcode items for current users are stored in a two-dimensional list with 19 records the list contains user number last name first name login name and passcode the list is sorted by login name, all users have passcodes that are integers between 1000 and 9999. Open the file Q6, save the file Q6. So we'll take our hint as before. We're going to open up Q6, right click, save as. finished. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. So there are the nineteen records in the list as mentioned in the uh, preamble. This this question unfortunately slid in over two pages so I might have to do some scrolling back and forth. Two dimensional list with nineteen records. Okay. Write a program to meet the following requirements. So you can see here, we've got a pretty, pretty blank canvas here. So in question six, uh, which is worth 15 marks, a student is meant to do some quite considerable amount of thinking, uh, designing, uh, constructing of, of a program. So um, write a program to meet the following requirements prompt for and accept a login name, no validation required, prompt for and accept a four digit passcode, you can assume only numbers will be entered, ensure the passcode between inclusive, process, work with any number of users in the list, use a linear search to find the record with the correct combination of login name and passcode, stop searching when the location of where the record should have been found is passed. So this is uh, interesting, isn't it? Because it's told us that it's sorted. What way did it say it was sorted? Sorted into uh, this kind of uh, sorted by login name. One, two, three. So the third. The th wait, user number, last name, first name, log. So one from end. So. It's sorted on this uh, coded value. Okay, so once we know we're past that, we should stop searching. Does not need to loop continuously. Outputs display a welcome message, including the user's first and last names. If the login name and passcode are found, so once once a correct match has been found, display an invalid input message if the login and passcode are not found. Do not add any further co functionality. Use comments and mark space, uh, white space. So there's a lot to do here and uh, this is why it's got some 25 minutes to do it in. So let's have a look. So I'm going to start here. Get user login name. get user pass code what else do I have to do I, I suppose check if pass code is valid it's not a bad place to start so username let's call it in ID so up here outside of this list i'm going to do in id equals a string so in id equals input please enter your 
login name. I'm going to do type uppercase X to exit. Uh, here we're going to go in pass, pass code, so in pass equals zero. So this is going to be uh, numeric, so an integer, so we're going to coerce to integer, input. Please enter your full digit passcode. If in pass greater than equal to thousand and in pass less than equal to nine 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 so I'm making sure that it's in that range so that's where we're gonna start so we're gonna do we're gonna now look through the user list so we're gonna do while Let's see if we do while well found equals false and past equals false and index less than when user list. So we need to um, use the length uh, here of the user list because it does say that it needs to work if this list was longer than the 19. And we're going to use found and passed as uh, logical or Boolean <coughs> counters later on in the in the checking. But this is, I think, decent start. So while while that, what do I want to do? If both parts matched. If user list index three equals in ID. And use a list index for equals in par. Found equals true. Print. Welcome. Okay. 
user list index. user list one it's going to print a welcome message else print so I'm going to have a go um, tools python so i'm running that so it's showing me that i've got some uh, invalid length user list not use list user list tools run Name, user list, invalid syntax. <laughs> Who forgets to put a colon? Nobody. Tools run. Please enter your login name. One, two, three. One, two, three. Passcode must be a four digit number. So I'm, I'm on my way on my way. I'm going to skip to uh, a more finished piece of code now. So I've finished coding this up. I've um, realized, of course, that I have to declare the variables for found uh, and passed. I set found to true with a small t, which I had to fix. I fixed the colon. If I run this now, and I uh, enter um, MCE109 as the login name, and this is 5991. I get welcome Claire McCardle, and you can see that here. So that code is, uh, is now running. It's taken me some time to just copy it in, so we'll take time to type it in. And that's um, question six done. So the question six uh, mark scheme uh, is a mixture of points based and levels based. So um, there are three levels based categories for this large uh, final question. Solution design, good programming practices and functionality. Each of those level based um, descriptors can get you uh, three points up to a maximum of nine. The balance of the uh, point based uh, can be seen here. If we look at the uh, solution design, we're looking for a student uh, taking the problem and decomposing it, uh, component parts of the problem clearly seen in the solution, logics clear and appropriate, choice of variables and data structures appropriate, choice of programming constructs is accurate and appropriate to the problem. So all of these could be uh, awarded while it might not give the right answer, but the approach has been well thought out. Good programming practices, talking about the layout, meaningful variable names, effective commenting, and code is clear. So again, you could see how you could have a completely functional piece of code that is not laid out nicely, has, has poor variable names, no comments, and code is not easy to read. Uh, it would not 
score so well on the good programming practice. Um, the functionality is clear. If it does what it's meant to do, then uh, good marks will be given here. So the idea of the mix, uh, mixed uh, mark scheme, uh, partially points-based and partially levels-based, is to try and reward the students for anything that they do which is good and to take away some of the awful panic and pressure of making it all work perfectly. Here's some... Um, Here's an example of a finished solution, which looks very similar to the one that I've typed in there, which is not surprising given that I copied one from the other. Uh, certainly some uh, degree of thinking and a good degree of skill will be required for the students to zip through the last uh, question six in that paper.